Hello everyone, my name is Yue Sun from National Computational Infrastructure Australia. Our team at NCI support our users to run their Julia code on our machine Gadi. We acknowledge and celebrate the first Australians on whose traditional lands we meet, and pay our respect to the elders past and present. At NCI, we support Australian researchers and their collaborators all over the world with our high-performance computing system, cloud computing, and data storage services. Our machine Gadi is launched in uh, late 2019 and has a range of different hardware to meet the demand from our user community. We currently support more than 6,000 Australian researchers across almost all research institutes within Australia. From universities to government agencies to Australian Research Council Centre of Excellence, almost all researchers in Australia are eligible for a uh, small grant support from us to run their applications on Gadi. Therefore, the uh, research interest from our user community covers a wide spectrum, spreading out from uh, fundamental research such as um, mathematics and uh, astronomy to more applied ones like uh, climate and weather. Some of them are working on algorithms and care more about the performance and scalability of their code implementations. Some of them run their jobs routinely on thousands of cores and they carefully track the job performance. But the majority of researchers, they do not pay special attention to the performance of their code unless their existing workflow breaks. Our observation is that the Julia user community shares the uh, same profile of the uh, general NCI users. Therefore, we cover both ends in our support. At the end of this talk, I will briefly show you the uh, user cases we work closely with within the last six months or so. These user cases are supported by different grants. HiQGA from Geosense Australia, um, Oceanetics from Australian National Universities. In the pie chart, the 28% uh, is the collective usage across all universities. You need to divide it by at least 15 to get a um, a right estimate, a fair estimate of a medium-sized university support. GREDAP is supported through the uh, National Merit Allocation Scheme. Again, it supports about 150 projects per year. At NCI, we do not have a single dominant user. The demand from our user community is very diverse. To support the uh, diverse demand, we have two types of uh, Julia modules. For developers who need very dynamic configuration of their environment, we have the bare minimum module ships, only the Julia binary, library, header files, etc. They take care of their package man management themselves. And for other users with um, pretty much fixed workflow, we offer modules in a singularity image that ships all relevant packages together with the Julia installation. We currently have three streams of these modules, each of them targeting a specific area, namely AI and machine learning, data analysis, and uh, geophysics. Users can just load the module and run their code on Gadi without worrying about how to set up the environment. No exceeding quota limit on the last of our systems, no accidentally updated version of packages. They just reload the same version of module on Gadi and uh, um, they replicate their collaborators' work. That's it. We release new versions of this uh, singularity image-based module every three to six months to keep up with our user demand. To facilitate users to use those modules, we also have documentation and examples prepared. Our team currently work on three topics, namely geophysics, climate and weather, and scientific machine learning. If you're interested, go to our document documentation website and search for those examples. The QR code should lead you directly to the Oceanetics example page. I tested on 23rd of June, 2023. Hopefully it hasn't expired when you watch this video. You can run those example notebooks on both CPUs and GPUs, 
if you also care about the utilization while working within a Jupyter Notebooks, you can um, also have, we, we also have the uh, NVIDIA dashboard extension available. On top of the uh, resource utilization monitoring, we always encourage users to do profiling guided code optimization. As a HPC center, we have profiling tools available since forever. We took advantage of those available tools to show our Julia users how to work with them. We tested all the profiling tools that work with Julia. We uh, recommend to use pprof package to uh, visualize the statistics uh, collected by the uh, Julia native profiler. Use the uh, Intel V team profiler to diagnose the communication managed by MPI cluster managers across multiple nodes. Um, using NVIDIA Insight system to analyze training code on um, multiple GPUs. Using NVIDIA Insight Compute to get through the um, code transfer from CPU to GPUs. We accumulate our knowledge and gradually improve our support in the progress of working closely with our Julia users. Early on this year, a scientist from Geoscience Australia came to us uh, we helped him to run the code on more than 20,000 cores, and it turns out the bottleneck is I.O. instead of communication. We're all amazed by how good the uh, MPI cluster manager can handle the um, task level parallelism by default. The user now is running his production jobs on 80 Sapphire Rapids nodes routinely. That is about 8,300 8, cores instead of 20,000 mainly because the smaller job give better turnaround and shorter queuing time. We recently work with our researchers from Australian National University and uh, Monash University on the Julia package grid app, which they develop on Gadi. The, the code scales almost perfectly to 20,000 cores, and they now transferring their code to GPUs to achieve even better performance. In the uh, strong scaling result, you can see it shows good performance even far beyond the uh, relatively small load of 25,000 degrees of freedom per CPU core. At NCI, we have a very strong climate and weather community, and uh, they are interested in the ocean elegance. The ocean model simulation run on either CPUs or GPUs. The developer demonstrated the good Scalability on 1024A100 GPUs on Perlmutter at NERSC. We are currently working on testing it using all the uh, 640V100 GPUs on Gadi. Hopefully, the benchmark result will be available to you in August. This is the end of my talk. Any questions?